Welcome to Decide and Do with JW. This is Decide and Do number 15. Be a leader, not a follower. So obviously we're going to talk about leaders and we're going to talk about followers. Now there are some of you that are a natural born leader. There are some of you that wouldn't know how to lead yourself anywhere. There's some of you that are great followers. You can accomplish things that no other individual can after you're told to do it. So what's better? Well, it all depends on what you want to do. You might want to be that leader. You might want to be that individual that takes charge, sees what needs to be done, and accomplishes it. You also might be that individual that sits there and waits until someone else tells you this is what needs to be accomplished. Fortunate for everyone is there needs to be leaders in this world and there needs to be followers. We all can't be leaders. So it's understandable that we need both. However, what would you rather be? Well, I would rather be a leader. Every day of the week, no matter what. I don't want to sit there. I don't want to wait for somebody to tell me within my organization, hey, this needs to be done. And in the company that I work for, we get paid on salary. And I might have the same exact job title as another individual, and we both get paid the same amount of money. One of us can be a leader, and one of us can be a follower. And there's other individuals underneath us by job title, and they could go ahead and make the same decision. So although me and the other guy or gal get paid exact same every month, one of them can sit there and wait to be told what to do, and one of them can go ahead and figure out what needs to be done, and then do it. Why do we make that determination? Why do we make that decision within us to go ahead and either be that leader or be the follower? I personally and professionally think because being a follower is easy. It takes no effort. All I got to do is sit there and wait for somebody to go ahead and tell me what needs to be done, how to do it, why it needs to be done, where I have to go, what I need to do, etc. Where the leader has to go ahead and figure it out. The leader has to find out what needs to be done. The leader has to see it and then go ahead and execute on it. Now, it takes a little bit of initiative to be a leader and that's fine. But the more you try and the more you lead, the better you become at it. Just because your job title puts you higher than other individuals does not automatically mean that you're a leader. There are leaders within inside of every organization that followers wouldn't follow anywhere. And there are organizations that have these positions where they are the ones that are in charge, but those followers don't believe that they are. So when you are a leader, you have to actually lead. You have to inspire. You have to motivate those individuals around you, those followers that you have, your coworkers, your subordinates, whatever it may be within your organization, your job. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to know what you're doing. You have to go ahead and be that expert within inside of every single one of your fields. Because although they might blindly say, you know what, I'll do exactly what you tell me. It, if you don't know what you're doing, eventually they're going to start questioning you. And eventually they're not going to follow you anymore. So when you are that leader, you have to be on top of your game in every single way. You not only have to lead, but you have to go ahead and make those individuals follow you through your expertise, through your passion, through your love of that job, through your motivation, not by fear and intimidation. Because the last thing that you want as a follower is to lead, or sorry, is to be led by a toxic leader. No follower wants that. And no leader should ever want to be a toxic leader. We want to be leaders that they would follow because they're inspired by 
them. Not follow because they have to follow them. So today, when we were at work, there was a lot of discussion about leaders and followers and different ways that we can make sure that we're both doing exactly what we're supposed to. Because though, although some individuals are a natural born leader, others have to be educated, they have to be trained. But if you properly do that as a leader, you set it where you are actually inspiring your replacement. So therefore, when you move on to bigger and better things, that individual that was trained and educated properly within your organization takes over and then can become a great leader also. So you have to remember, although you can choose to be a leader or you can choose to be a follower, being a leader is difficult. Being a leader is hard. And you have to be prepared for that. And if you don't like being a follower, then you have to look to that leadership and you have to see what they're doing right and then you got to start doing it. And if you don't start taking charge and doing, guess what? You're going to continue to be a follower. Think about that. So until my next video, thanks for watching the sign do number 15. Be a leader, not a follower.